The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is investigating a pair of shootings that happened overnight, one of them deadly. Now, police need your help in making arrest. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar shows us the complexity of the shootings and how police are navigating through them. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office investigating three different crime scenes early Sunday morning. The first one started here on Lane Avenue South. Police say a group of people got into an argument in the drive through of a liquor store around 2 o'clock this morning. Three men in one car drove onto Lane Avenue, and police say the accused shooter followed them, pulled up next to them, and then fired into the car, hitting one of the passengers. They both drove off. Police say the victims made it five miles away here to Collins Road and the I-295 ramp. An FHP trooper conducted a traffic stop near Collins Road and Interstate 295 on a vehicle driving erratically. This is where the trooper found one of the men shot inside the car here. He was dead at the scene, marking the 88th homicide in Jacksonville so far this year. More than 10 evidence markers covering the street for more than seven hours as police hope to find surveillance video of that shooting. More than 20 minutes away on the north side, police piecing together another shooting a few hours later. This is where police found a man shot in the parking lot of the Travel Lodge Inn and Suites Motel on Airport Road. This happened around 5 o'clock this morning. Police say a 40-year-old man found shot at least once and rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Both situations challenging for police because of the lack of information. Every investigation has its own um, pace depending on how the information unfolds. And so right now they're going to take a methodical approach to identifying uh, information, anything that might lead to suspect information and go from there. No one has been arrested in either case. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.